The National Predators currently find themselves in fifth place in the Central Division after 52 games skated. They have a record of 27, 23, and 2. That is 56 points. They are 11 points behind the third place and automatic qualifying playoff spot currently held by the Winnipeg Jets. We'll update the Central Division standings coming up here in just a second. On home ice, which is where the Predators next game will take place. They have a record of 14, 13, and 0. The Predators have scored 158 goals in the season. They have given up 164 goals in the season. That's a goal differential of minus 6. Now, I promise you some standing updates. So let's talk about the Central, then the wild card, because they both are very important for the Nashville Predators team. The Dallas Stars currently lead the Central Division after 52 games skated with 72 points. Colorado has skated in 53 games. They have 68 points. Winnipeg in third place has skated in 50 games, the least of the three at the top of the division. They have 67 points. So the three-team weave at the top of the division continues. Who is going to get stuck in that 2-3 match at the end of the season? I think that is going to be a very, very important thing that we continue watching. So we're establishing we have a top three in this division, and then we have a break off to the next three teams, which is the St. Louis Blues in fourth place at 58 points, the National Predators in fifth place at 56 points, and then the Minnesota Wild in sixth place at 53 points, and then the Arizona Coyotes have slipped quite a bit as of late, down to 50 points, now six points behind Nashville, and 31 points for the Blackhawks in eighth place. They are the only team that is absolutely, completely adamant at this moment in time. Now, the wild card standings. This is of critical importance, and we're going to continue tracking this each and every show going forward. The LA Kings sit in wild card one with 58 points. The St. Louis Blues sit in wild card two with 58 points. The National Predators, the first team on the outside, looking in with 56. Then the Calgary Flames just behind the Preds with 55 points. And then it is actually the Minnesota Wild is the next team on that. Seattle has also fallen off as of late. Teams will go up. Teams will go down. We'll continue tracking it here on every episode. For the Nashville Predators, once they wrap up this game against New Jersey, and this is all the markings and potential of a trap game. Thursday, Dallas comes to town. The first place Dallas Stars in the Central Division, a critically important game for the Nashville Predators. Also on Saturday at St. Louis, so the Preds cannot get caught in the trap of an Eastern Conference opponent they have not seen this season that's not performing at a particularly high level coming in. The Preds have to, have to take these points seriously tonight. On Saturday at St. Louis, I mentioned that then Tuesday in Vegas, continue of the road trip on the 22nd in LA, the 24th of February in San Jose. One more game on the road trip after that before coming back home. Not mentioned the first of two regular season meetings between the Preds and the Devils. The next one will take place almost at the very, very end of the schedule. On April the 7th, the Predators will make their one and only trip to Newark, New Jersey this season, unless somehow they end up playing for a best of seven at the very end of the season. That would be tremendous. I, I'd be okay with that. The Devils on the season are 26, 21, and 4. They have 56 points. They are fourth overall in the Metropolitan division on the road a pretty solid record 14 9 9 and 2 14 9 and 2 on the road 172 goals for 178 goals against us a goal differential of minus six exactly the same as the nashville predators now the devils are coming in after playing at home last night so let's go back and talk about their last five and we'll recap what happened with the devils last night on the 27th of january it was a 63 loss at tampa bay on the 6th of february coming out of the all-star break it was a five to three win versus colorado on the 8th of February, it was a 5-3 to three loss versus Calgary. On the 10th of February, a 1-0 overtime loss at Carolina. And most recently, meaning last night, it was on February the 12th, a 3-1 to one win versus Seattle. Dow's got the start in net and went 27-28 and picked up the victory. Devils jump on a plane out of Newark, New Jersey, and head immediately here to Nashville. And they will play tonight. And here is the matchup and the numbers and the rankings for tonight's game. These are updated through last night's Seattle game for the Devils. Devils. Goals for the Devils averaging 3.37 per game. This season, that's 10th best in the NHL. The National Predators even at three. They've ticked back up, which is good news. That's 19th overall in the National Hockey League. In the goals against category, the Devils giving up a huge number, 3.47. That's 27th overall in the league. The Preds 3.15. That is 19th in the NHL. In the shots for category, Devils, good solid number right here, 31.4 shots per game. That's 11th best in the league. The Preds 31 is 15th. In the shots against category, these two teams are almost identical. 29 point nine for the Devils is 12 30 even is 13th for the Nashville Predators on the special teams the Devils do have a decided advantage in both of these statistical metrics their power play is converting at 24 percent this season that's ninth best overall in the National Hockey League 37 out of 154 opportunities National Predators power play is converting at 19.1 percent that's 20th best in the NHL 35 out of 183 opportunities the Devils penalty kill is killing off 79.9 percent this season that's 
17th overall in the league, 32 power play goals against the Preds, penalty kill rate, 75.9% is 27th in the league, 40 power play goals against. That's a massive, massive number right there. When it comes to each and every individual team in the NHL, we like to talk about the top five scorers for each team. And for the Predators, we do have a little bit of a shakeup in the top five for the first time in seemingly all season long. Philip Forsberg still leads the team in scoring, 25 goals, paces the team, 28 assists added to that, equals 53 points, which is number one overall on the team. 11 goals for Roman Yossi, 36 assists for 47 points. Those 36 assists represents the number one in that category on the Nashville Predators. Ryan O'Reilly did 18 goals and 26 assists for 44 points. Gus Nyquist has made it to 40 points now. His breakdown goes 12 and 28. And Tommy Novak is now Todd Colton Sissons for fifth on the team in scoring. Both have 25 points. Tommy Novak breaks down to be nine goals and 16 assist. So great to see Tommy Novak getting back on the score sheet. It's about time we can say it again. All he does is make plays. Let's see if Tommy Novak can continue that momentum tonight against the Devils. UC Soros goes 20-19-2 and two on the season. 902 save percentage of 2.97 goals against average for the Nashville Predators. Now we're on the New Jersey Devils side of the ledger. Bratt's got 20 goals and 35 assists for 55 points on the season. Hughes has the other Hughes. 16 and 31 for 47 to Foley. 22 goals, 13 assists for 35 points. And Tyler Toffoli has played pretty good in his career against the Nashville Predators. He's here, 14 and 19 for 33. Eric Halla, 11 goals and 15 assists for 26 points. And Vanacek expected to get the start in net, 17, 9 and 3 and 8, 90 save percentage, 3.18 goals against average. Again, Dawes got the start against Seattle last night at home, 127 out of 28. So Vanacek should get the start tonight for New Jersey against UC Soros. Devils coming in. In after playing last night, traveling, and now getting a rested National Purse team who has not played since that thrilling comeback against the Arizona Coyotes the other night. And it's the only game they have played since the All-Star break. So the Preds, plenty of legs under them, plenty well rested, now a game of experience. The only thing that concerns me is the concept of getting caught in the trap of overlooking the New Jersey Devils, who are an Eastern Conference opponent in fourth place and not that spectacular on the season. You're only going to see them one more time, and they shouldn't really have an effect on your season. And you have Dallas coming in next and then at St. Louis. So pivotal, pivotal game against New Jersey Devils. Don't fall in the trap. Don't take them lightly. Every team in the NHL is capable of jumping up and biting you, and it has happened multiple times this season. Andrew Brunette has simply had enough of the Nashville Predators not getting the job done. That's why Philip Tomasino is now back in Milwaukee. Mark Jankowski and Afanasiev is up here at the NHL level. We'll track how they do in their first night of action, and we'll track how the lineup goes. Still possibly some changes coming up, but Andrew Brunette is clearly, clearly ready to start moving ahead with the playoff rush and playoff race this year. Oh, Phil Tomasino does great in Milwaukee. Carl Taylor has certainly got a juggernaut down there, now winning 14 in a row. They have not put up a loss in the calendar year 2024. That's got you all set up for the Preds and the Devils at Bridgestone Arena. We got to go back and talk about the Preds' first game out of the All-Star break. It's called the Rebirth Sports Full Game Recap, and it's coming up next right here on the Renegades of Puck Podcast.